10 South Oakdale in Medford. This meeting is held every Wednesday morning at 930 as long as a quorum of two commissioners is available to conduct the business of Jackson County. Your Jackson County Commissioners broadcast this meeting over Rogue Valley Television and it's available for live streaming and review at jacksoncountyor.gov. Under the Government tab, under Recorded Meetings, click on RVTV Live Streaming. The types of business that occur at this meeting include public hearings, official voting on actions by the Board of Commissioners, presentations by departments of the county, and recognition of service that makes our county great. Agendas of the meetings are posted on the Commissioner's Bulletin Board and released on the county website and through local media in the time required for public notice. Many of the conclusions on the business presented to the Board of Commissioners have been discussed in detail and prepared by the administration office and staff prior to consideration at this meeting and the official vote. These prior discussions also have been properly noticed and the work done in a transparent manner. We encourage you to come and experience the process by attending any of these meetings or watch online at jacksoncountyor.gov. And now, your Jackson County Commissioners, Dave Dodderer, Colleen Roberts, and Rick Dyer, working for you. Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Board of Commissioners regular meeting for January 10th, 2024. We will call our meeting to order at 9.30 a.m. here in the Courthouse Auditorium and via audio video conference on Zoom. We're going to start the meeting today with a Pledge of Allegiance, so if you could please rise and after me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We'll move now into the request for and discussion of non-agenda items. We do have a five-minute limit. Pursuant to the codified ordinance of Jackson County, section 213.06, members of the public may address any item not on the agenda. However, pursuant to ORS 192.640, the Board of Commissioners is prohibited from discussing a principal subject that is not on the agenda. Therefore, the Board of Commissioners will listen to your concerns and may consider the matter you raise by asking staff to follow up on any questions or by placing the matter on the agenda for discussion at a future meeting. We don't have anybody signed up, but we have some folks here today. I don't know if anybody wants to speak. Not today. Uh, all right, anybody on Zoom with their Zoom hand up? Mr. Chair, I do not have anyone with their Zoom hand raised to speak. All right, seeing there's nobody even on, we will move on into the consent calendar, which consists of minutes of meetings of the Board of Commissioners work session of December 19th, 2023. Board of Commissioners regular meeting of December 20th, 2023, and the Board of Commissioners staff meeting of December 21st, 2023. I'll move to appro approve the consent calendar as read. Second. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dodder? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes, thank you. Uh, no public hearings today, so we'll move on into discussion and deliberation. First item there is an order authorizing an agreement for mutual technical assistance between the City of Medford and Jackson County. This is order number 7-24, and Ms. Bell. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. Under this agreement, both Jackson County, the County, and the City of Medford City wish to provide a mechanism for mutual technology assistance when a lack of necessary technical resources exist. In such circumstances, either the county or the city may be available and be in a position to temporary sh temporarily share resources. Term of this agreement is July 1st, 2023 through July 1st, 2028, and requires ratification to become effective July 1st, 2023. The financial impact of the agreement will vary. Reimbursement for technical assistance provided shall be made as identified in the agreement. And staff does recommend approval of this order. Thank you. Any questions on this? No. Nope. I will move approval of order number 7 24. I'll second. Commissioner Dyer, or sorry, Commissioner Dodder? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. Thank you. Moving on to the next item we have is an order authorizing amendment number one to the intergovernmental, intergovernmental agreement dated May 18th, 2023, between Polk County and Jackson County. This is order number 8 24. Ms. Bell, once again. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 
Polk County currently provides geographic information system services to Jackson County and the county desires to continue with their services. The term of the original agreement was May 18, 2023 through December 31st, 2023. Amendment number one is effective January 1st, 2024 through December 31st, 2024 and requires ratification to become effective January 1st, 2024. This amendment is extending the term of the agreement be beyond one year requiring authorization by the Board of Commissioners and there's no financial impact. Thank you, any questions here? I will move to approve order number 8-24. Second. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dotter? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes. Last item <clears throat> on the agenda is an order authorizing an owner's acceptance of bidder's offer and construction contract with LTM Incorporating, Incorporated doing business as Knife River Materials. And this is order number 9-24. Ms. Bell? Thank you, Mr. Chair. So the Jackson County Roads and Parks Department will be continuing the Foothill Road widening project to improve the safety of the roadway. The continuation of this project requires improvements to culverts along the roadway. The work under this project includes all material, labor, and equipment necessary for earthwork, grading, aggregate base construction, storm drainage, and other miscellaneous work items as called for in the plans and specifications. An inv invitation to bid was published in the August 9th, 2023 edition of the Rogue River Press, the August 7th and August 9th, 2023 editions of the Daily Journal of Commerce and posted to the Jackson County website. One bid was received as follows. The contractor was LTM doing business as Knife Rivers Materials. Their bid amount was $1,615,981. The engineer's estimate was $643,100. The sole bid is considerably higher than the engineer's estimate as the contract engineer underestimated the work needed to support the roadway during construction to maintain vehicular access at all times. The department is engaging with LTM Inc. doing business as Knife River Materials to evaluate options for reduced project expenses, which will likely result in temporary travel impacts during construction. Adequate, adequate funds are budgeted in the current fiscal year for the project, and costs in excess of the engineer's estimate are not expected to result in decreased service levels in the department. LTM Inc. doing business as Knife River Materials submitted the sole bid, is qualified to perform the work, and should be awarded the contract. The term of the contract is upon execution through October 31st, 2024. Financial impact is $1,615,981 in expense for the term of the contract. Thank you. Any questions here? I will move approval of order number 9-24. I'll second. Any discussion on this? I'm, I'm glad we're working to get the costs down yeah, get, get, <laughs> in the process. Of course, uh, you know, the difference in the, in the estimate and the bid, um, we want to maintain access on that road. So yeah. obviously important distinction to have caught. Yes. We did discuss it at length Absolutely. in our work at session. At length at our last meeting, thank you. Commissioner Dotter? Yes. Commissioner Roberts? Yes. Commissioner Dyer? Yes, thank you. And that does conclude our agenda today, so we are adjourned. We hope that you have enjoyed this week's Jackson County Board of Commissioners meeting. If you have any questions on any part of the show, please feel free to contact your Jackson County commissioners or staff. You can find their contact information at jacksoncountyor.gov. To review the content of this or any other recent meeting, under the Government tab, under Recorded Meetings, click on RVTV Live Streaming.